I'm Josh Burnson, Principal Architect at ITS Partners. Elena Ardito, ITS Management Consultant. This is the next video in the ServiceNow Asset Management Series. Welcome back. This is the Software Asset Management um, Lab, Section 2 of 2. If you haven't seen Section 1 yet, um, please go back and review that video first as there are some dependencies that um, this lab requires. With this lab, we're going to be going through adding an entitlement to a software license, as well as uh, reviewing the effects of changing a license type on a software license. So let's start with adding an entitlement. We're going to start with going to the software model and seeing what licenses actually are actually attached to this software model. So for example, we're going to continue to use MSTN. Go ahead and bring up MSTN. There we go. Now we're reviewing the software model. We're going to take a look at the license associated to the model so we can update and add entitlements to this license contract. So this is the only license linked to it. Remember, the licenses are what um, are help to associate what the rights are or the install count that we're allowed to be distributing throughout the environment. So I'm going to open the contract. You can see we jump straight to the software license. We're going to go to asset entitlements. As you can see, there's, there's two um, default types, asset and user entitlements. Asset also obviously being the computer asset that's associated and entitled to be using this piece of software. So all we're going to do is come up to the top and click add entitlement. For example, we're going to use a um, eTrust computer, so we're just going to type this in here. You can also then hover over the, um, the icon here, which will give you a little bit more information on this asset itself. This is what we're going to use for our example. So this is an Apple computer, as you can see the manufacturer um, model information about this computer asset itself. Okay, so that's all we really need here. It's associated to this software license already, so we can just go ahead and hit, hit submit. So since we have added um, an individual entitlement to the software license contract, we need to go ahead and rerun the software counter. We'll just jump straight to MSDN. Instead of running the full license compliance check across all 20, let's just run this one individually. So we can open this up and run this count licenses on this specific uh, software counter or software model. As you can see, it says refresh screen to see the software counter changes. You can, you can right click on the top um, bar and do reload form, which will bring new, new data in here. You can see the eTrust. We can go to this com specific computer, and this is what is displayed as the MSTN, the asset entitlement. Okay, so now we're going to jump to viewing a license by location. And then what this allows you to do is basically break up uh, what the licenses uh, have been purchased for or, or what specific location, physical location, they, where they were purchased for distribution at. So we're going to stay on this MSDN software counter because that's kind of the example we're sticking with. Go ahead and open the software model by clicking the icon. Once we're on the software model, we're going to go back to the license again. This is the license associated to the MSDN 2010. Come back to this general tab. We're going to go ahead and, and add a location to this because currently there isn't one. So we're going to go ahead and pick a location from a list because I'm see what locations we have available here. We'll stick with norm, gen, a generic in the Americas. So when we purchase this license with the rights of 600, they're, they're meant to be distributed in the Americas and that's part of maybe your EA agreement has specified that. Let's go ahead and save. 
we're going to create a new license. An easy way to do that with ServiceNow is to just update the existing contract you're on, and you can do this with any any uh, form that you're, you're looking at. Update the new one and then just do an insert. So we're going to go ahead and change this. It's going to be the same amount. We're going to create a new contract. It's going to have all the same information. The only piece that we're going to change here is what our location is. So we're going to split up a location between, let's do EMEA. rights. We're going to do an insert, which will create that new contract because we did update the asset tag or the name. Okay, so now you see we have two separate license contracts associated to the software model of MSD in 2010. We'll go back to the counter for MSDN. So now the only thing that we're going to be changing is this grouping. The grouping is what's going to allow us to see the breakout of the, the rights that we have between the two um, locations. So we're going to save this. Okay. Now we need to rerun the counter as well because you notice it still says we only have rights of 600 as we did create the second license contract, so we should have a total of 1,200 at this point. So let's rerun the count, the calculation. Reload form. As you can see too, also something I didn't mention before is this cached will be checked once the uh, reload has, has happened in the calculation. Okay, so now the cache has been checked and we can see the total rates is 1,200. We also have two separate um, breakouts because our grouping is location between the Americas and EMEA. We have 600 in each. So this gives you a nice idea and then it'll show you the entitlements between each one as well and how those are broken out. This is based off of the computer location now um, because that's the, how the licenses are being grouped, which is a great way to organize in the, depending on how your enterprise agreements are. All right, now we're going to jump into um, a separate section, which is going to review the license types. I'm going to go back to our software counter. So I think we're going to go ahead and stick with our MSDN example at this point. And you notice our, our, our color did turn to green because we are within compliance now. We have an extra 600. Let's go back into it. We're going to look at this license type, and we did a quick review of this in the, in the first section of this series, this lab series. Um, but I want to just take a, a second to change this license type and see the calculation change. So for this example, let's go ahead and just do by number of CPUs. So this is going to calculate the CPUs per asset that is associated as um, the users that have the installed um, piece of software that we're looking at. So by number of CPUs, and we'll go ahead and click Save. I'm going to rerun this count calculation. You should see this writes, um, should see this install number change because the information that's coming in is going to change the calculation of the count of installs. So let's go ahead and reload. Okay. As you can see, our, our install count has actually gone up a little bit because we um, had some uh, different count of the CPUs um, that's coming in from the inventory data on that com specific computer. So you can see here, we'll go ahead and expand into entitlements. You can see this number has jumped. Now we can jump into this a little bit deeper and check the valuation. Let's go ahead and go entitled and use. I'll sort by this number and you'll see a different count or a number of licenses that are being used. So this one you can see, this, this specific asset has eight CPUs associated to it, which is so it has a valuation of eight, four, or two. And this is the number of license counts that it's using as an install. So now you can see the CPU count is eight, which is the count that it's using for the license. So 
So that wraps up the end of the Software Asset Management Lab review. Thank you for watching and check back at itsdelivers.com for further videos relating to ServiceNow and one of our other supported products. Thank you again.